CPT always delivers, doesn't it? Either in a good way or a bad way. It was North America West, as you guys know. Capcom Pro Tour has been having these uh, events, you know, basically every weekend. So this weekend comes up, and like every other, there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of issues that went down. For some reason, the Metro M situation happened again. In that stream and in that holding that happened, I was like, guys. It's not Metro M's fault. Like, he meets all the requirements to enter the tournament. The dude doesn't want the matches to be laggy and bad. The netcode is not great. It's not doing its job. And so for that reason, he's having a lot of bad matches with people and people are lagging and all kinds of stuff's going down, right? So this weekend comes up again. And like, as you guys should expect by now, if you've played Street Fighter Online, there are bad connections, right? One of the big ones was Punk played against a Dalsum player. He had this really close match with him. He barely beat him. And he was like, this guy should never be allowed to enter a tournament again. His connection sucks. This guy's whack. He knows he lags, and he just tries to beat people in lag, and he's trash. So and meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket, Alex Myers plays Snake Eyes for top 16. It's just a disaster of a match. Myers plays Snake. It's, like, so laggy. You can see it being super mad. Afterward, Myers is pissed. He's like, why do I have to play Snake Eyes? Every time I play this guy, it's so laggy. Like, I play all these other people, and my connections are fine. So they're both pissed. They both lose, right? Keep in mind that these connections are like NorCal to SoCal. They're not far. We get into the match that everybody saw this week and everybody was pissed about, which is top eight qualifier between Myers and Punk. Obviously, Punk streamed it. If you watch the match on stream, it looked laggy. But, you know, the thing is, is as spectators, sometimes the spectator client will be running perfect. And then it turns out the match was super laggy. Sometimes the match looks laggy on screen and the players are like, nah, it was fine for me. They play their match. Match is super laggy. Uh, because the match is laggy, Punk ends up losing, and then he is super pissed. He's adding everybody in their Discord on stream. He's like, you guys got to run that back. That match isn't going to uh, count, right? Me losing to Myers, they, they got to rerun the set, or we got to DQ him because I didn't lose. It was laggy. Like, he went off, so he blames Myers. Obviously, he goes on a Twitter rant about Myers, about how bad his connection is, etc. Everybody's pissed. Everybody's frustrated. Now, let me explain something, chat room. I did the same thing when the Metro M situation happened in NA East. I'll do the same thing now that it's happened in NA West, and I'm sure this won't be the last time I've done this. It's not any of the player's fault. The netcode is bad. You can be frustrated that the connections are bad and that it ruins your experience. I don't blame you, but it's not any of the player's fault. Now, because of the amount of outrage and yelling that Punk did on Twitter and everything, when I was watching the stream, in the chat room, all I see is, Alex Laggers. He cheated to beat Punk. He sucked. He's bad. All these people who are just going to be like saying this shit about Myers. It's the same people who are flaming Metro M who just they believe that it's all this person's fault. Now, there's the thing. Even in a game with perfect rollback, is there sometimes people's connections that don't play nice? Sure. But it's much, much more rare than seven people who are in NorCal and SoCal not being able to connect <laughs> to each other and play a normal match of Street Fighter. In fact, I'm sort of tempted to just by Myers and Punk and Snake Eyes and like four other people, a copy of Skullgirls, it will, it will cost me 10 bucks and just have them play against each other just to see. That or KI, right? I'll spend the extra five bucks a copy to see them play against each other in a game with functioning rollback and see what it looks like. Because there was another match that happened, right? Filipino Man and Geki played and their connection to each other was really bad. I'm the exact same distance that Filipino Man and Geki are to each other, right? I'm also in SoCal. Him and I played Fexel like four days ago and the connection was great. It's not any player's fault. Again, it's the game. I don't know how many times I have to prove this to you guys or we have to talk about this. Like, dude, if you just play another game with a working netcode, you don't even think about that stuff. You plug in an Ethernet cable and you play online and it's great. So let me show you guys something before you want to blame players again. Somebody who's worked on functioning rollback netcode in a fighting game that works perfectly great and I've played on stream many times since this is apparently a hot subject and is making the rounds. Pressing buttons does not create lag for anyone in any properly done rollback implementation thank you if rollback is implemented properly mashing buttons when you get knocked down doesn't create lag i've never had this issue in any other fighting game that has rollback ever it's going to keep happening this won't be the last time right if all this energy was just pointed towards like hey we can't even play a good online tournament i wish the netcode was good instead of blaming myers for ruining his life like you it, it feels like the energy would be better placed in that direction the entire us is pretty easy to play against each other if rollback is working correctly that's the point i was trying to make again i don't understand why it's so difficult but when you say the netcode of street fighter 5 is the problem people are like me not know what you mean have any of you guys played a game with good rollback it is a massive 
Massive difference. Well, well, well. There we go. Wouldn't we love to see that, Lee? We'd love to see that. I just want to say, sorry to Myers, blowing up on you. CFN is garbage. I overreacted. Fuck the net code. People don't give Punk credit. He's very smart, uh, actually, as a human. He says dumb shit sometimes when on Twitter when he's mad. But as a human being, he's pretty smart. Hell yeah. Isn't this a happy resolution? Capcom Fighters released a statement. You see the little light blue box from Capcom Fighters, you know shit's going down. <clears throat> Capcom Fighters writes, On August 15th, during the North America West 1 qualifier, Alex Myers defeated Victor Punk Woodley. At the conclusion of the match, Punk engaged in unsportsmanlike conduct against tournament organizer Alex Vine Discord. He told him to suck his dick. And player Alex Myers on Twitter. This is a clear violation of the CBT code of conduct. Under normal circumstances, such behavior would result in a suspension from multiple premieres. However, given the limited number of qualifying events this season, such a ban has excessive uh, consequences. Capcom has therefore ruled that should he choose to participate, Punk will automatically start in a loser's bracket in North America West 2 qualifier. We recognize that this has been a frustrating year, but threats and insults amongst our top players cannot be tolerated. You know what's funny? It's like it really felt like this got sorted out. You know, I was showing the, the Punk tweet. He tweeted and it was like, you know what? My bad, Myers. And Myers is like, you know what? I appreciate that you publicly apologize. It's cool, man. We both agree that the netcode's bad, right? Right. Okay, cool. They had their handshake, and we're like, all right. And then it was like Stone Cold Steve Austin or something. Just dun 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 dun. Capcom just came in and was like, and I've been waiting. Pretty funny. This is a really weird uh, thing to me. I'm surprised that this is what they chose to do. It must have been decided before they the apology happened and everything, but it is so strange. And it's also, this is the first time that they've cracked down on somebody saying something, right? If you want to go play in the next bracket, you got to go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. This is how they're going to do it. I'm happy it's not my job to be like on a panel or a code of conduct or whatever. I'm happy it's not my job because the decisions that I feel like I would make are not... <laughs> They seem so weird in context of what I'm seeing here. So cool. All right. It's just funny to me. This is such a strange punishment, isn't it? <laughs> Make Punk play with additional lag. Make him wear sunglasses and a big hat while he plays. <laughs> yeah, he also didn't he dump on all the on all the level up admins running the event too. I can see why they'd be pissed. Vi wasn't even being a jerk. He was like, "Look, man, them's the breaks." I thought Vi was very nice. Alex Myers versus Punk Grand Finals, then at the end they kiss. I agree. You better break quarantine and drive up to NorCal or drive down to So- Meet in the middle. Meet in Barstow. I don't know. Go to like a, you know, wine, uh, res wine, winery, I guess they're called. Get some wine together. Get some avocados and make out. And just call it. Hash it out. It'll be cool. I just, we just need a video proof. Yeah, then they can play an offline first attempt. I guess they were in a weird spot. They felt like they had to do something, but they weren't sure exactly what was right. I mean, they even said it in the thing, right? They're like, you know... We wanted to just shoot his ass, but then we realized that's probably not right. What are we going to do? I don't know. Shoot him in the knee. <laughs> Myers, I wish I lost a punk tweet hit different. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Myers feels partially responsible, even though it's not his fault, because now punk's in loser's bracket, and he's like, well, the whole bracket's all fucked up. Did I see Hanzo's tweet about this? I did. I think we should pull that up, because I think he's right. I have a feeling that he's correct. It's like every time an issue comes up with CPT, they consult a sphinx and unravel the riddle to come up with a punishment. I agree. You guys know how sphinxes are? Did you guys know that sphinxes can like change time and space and stuff? Sphinxes are incredibly powerful beings. They just love riddles. You can't really trust them, right? They're always, they never speak directly. It's always riddles. Yeah, I mean, the funny, the thing about this whole situation is at the end of the day, the conclusion everybody came to was like, oh yeah, it's really the netcode's fault. Then Capcom's like, wait, shoot him in the knee. <laughs> Uh, cracks me up. Listen. Boo! The way that you have the boo, I like my boo to be B-O-O. -O. I don't want it to be B and then like 40 O's. It's got to be B-O-O -O and that's the end. Go watch Rush Hour 2. First 10 minutes, they go to the club. They're looking for Ricky Tan. That man's murdering a classic. Boo! That's what you have to do. If you want to learn how to do a boo properly, you got to watch Rush Hour 2. Yeah, it's been zero days since I brought up Rush Hour. It's always like Rush Hour and Rollback.